We are arriving at Hampton Court today. Squad, we're gonna have a very good day. I bet he'll leave that in. <laughs> this poor dude's been drinking too much of the wine from the fountain and um, yeah, feeling a little bit worse for wear I think. Show me your outfit. You look ace. Very mean, Noah. You look very like kingly and strong. I wish we were allowed to keep these. Do you want that cape? We're here in the dressing room choosing our attire for the day. Just wait down. I'm keen for that, but I'm not sure. All looking very yeah, regal. Uh, I'm too much. So, having decided to put on these royal robes that we don't deserve, um, we've come out into the courtyard for a bit of a, a thing, only to realise that nobody else is wearing the free robes. Nice. So many of those trusted here at court all gathered in one place. I do feel that it is my duty as Lord Chancellor to inform you all that there are plots against the King. just finished doing all the insides of the palace. Really, really interesting. There's a brilliant like, reenactment team who are helping to bring the whole history of the place alive. before we head into the garden. Sadly, it's time to part with our robes. Oh. Hey. 
Ellis was just reading this little information sign here to me, telling me that the water we're standing beside is Charles II's formal canal. Isn't that right, Ellis? That's what you told me. No, Mum! Wasn't what he told me at all. Mum! He's in a bit of a mood, but we won't say that because it will ruin the vlog. Yeah! No! What a great place Hampton Court Palace is. It's a proper palace, like very ornate, in many ways you could say over the top or grandiose, quite against the grain of what culturally is acceptable now. Culturally these days there's a real move against opulence. Why should so and so have so much when I don't have this? Or why should that person have a, a palace or a house that's so ornate? Um, it doesn't need to be that fancy. And you see, like, this is a classic sort of old architecture where it's very ornate, and even window sills and window ledges are opportunities for details and for elaborate decoration. It's not how we live anymore, is it? Nowadays, you'd be far more uh, applauded for saying how efficient your project was or how um, precise everything was rather than how elaborate and over the top it was. And that's not to say necessarily that um, efficiency is bad or that elaborate decorations are wrong either. It's just an observation. Different cultures and different times uh, value and celebrate different things. I love, personally, I love seeing old buildings. I love seeing the details and the decorations that have gone into these buildings, which I think makes them worth saving and uh, so much more worth saving than many of the buildings we seem to be throwing up these days, which are built far quicker, but they're not, they don't seem to be as, I don't know, meaningful would be a bit harsh or a judgmental term, but they don't seem to be as significant, the buildings that we're building these days, when you compare them to good old piles of bricks. Uh, but it does lead us to a very interesting question about value or worth, and is it worth it? I mean, these for instance, these round windows that are facing the side um, of this palace, they will rarely be seen, and yet they're given the same attention to detail as the ones that are on the back, which is one of the picture postcard angles of the house. Is that attention to detail worth it? Well, I think that all really depends on who's it for. And we have questions in our life where we ask ourselves all the time, is it worth it? And I think the answer always has to be, who's it for? Because in many cases, no, things aren't worth it because they're for you and they're for me. And we're finite beings with a great amount of worth, but we're just human beings. Whereas there are some instances where we encounter someone of infinite worth and someone of infinite worth demands infinite value and infinite uh, amounts of value placed on them by us our worth of course i'm speaking about god what on earth could i possibly do that would show him his greatness or his goodness i could build a pile of bricks like this but it wouldn't be good enough so the old hymn writer wrote, With a whole realm of nature mine, that were an offering still far too small. It's interesting, isn't it, that we can encounter things in our lives, God, who even if we were to build a great big pile of bricks like this for him, wouldn't be enough. And uh, that's a pause for thought for me, or a cause for thought. Do I appreciate the value? No, I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not encouraging striving and wrong working and all that sort of thing. But I am saying 
do I appreciate in my daily life true value and true worth? Big, big questions, big questions. <laughs>aren't we Ellis? No! <laughs> and we've just found the River Thames and if you're incredibly incredibly good hearing can you hear that there's been a pair of parrots or parakeets flying around all day and they're currently just in that tree on the other side of the river. They've been following us around all day and it's great to see them, really cool. But yeah, check it out. There's Hampton Court Palace, there's the Thames. And so I can only imagine that this down here is where the, the royal barge would have moored to um, take them up and down to the city. Very nice.